Welcome to another video of the Benjamin Sisters. In this video, I will be walking you through my oily skin routine. So do you have oily skin? I for sure have oily skin. And my oily skin, my oily skin sisters, I'm right there with you. Like I'm right there. Like people don't understand the struggle, but it's real. It's really hard out here. I know when I came back home, and when I was thinking about coming back, um, to Antigua from New York, I really did a lot of research about um, oily skin routines, different things that I can do because obviously in New York it's a colder climate. Yes, it's hot for a couple of months out of the year, but usually it's co it's cold. Most times it's cold. So my routine was different than um, than it is here. Well, I, I I definitely wanted to develop a new routine just for living in a new climate, living in a warmer climate. So these are some um, tips that I picked up through uh, my research and through the years. Stuff, some of the stuff I've, some of the items that I'm gonna use here are items I've been using for for many well many years, at least ten or so years. So I'm gonna share those with you. So if you're interested in this video. Keep on watching. Oh, and actually, go ahead and subscribe. Just don't even wait until the end. Go ahead and subscribe. We have awesome content coming to you. So just keep on watching. Okay, so first step. First step in my routine is to wash my face. <laughs> so what I use is this three-step um, program. Three-step three process by Clinique. It's specifically for oily skin oily and combination skin they have also one for um dry skin and another one for extremely oily skin something like that but they have three different um, set of products specifically for um different skin types so my skin tip is combination oily skin so i have this one here and comes with this color um astringent or clarifying lotion so it's a three-step process so first you have the soap and this comes in the bar as well for years i've been using the bar and i prefer the bar because it lasts longer and i'm all about saving the coin <laughs> so um but you can also use a liquid facial soap here and um actually this says dry combination skin so this is the wrong one but i um, just realized that but we actually bought this one um well i've been buying it for years you can purchase at macy's bloomingdale's um sephora they have it too and as i said they have the bar as well um but we actually bought this in antigua you can purchase this in antigua it's um, 19 us or 59 ec just for this product alone so you start with the soap you're gonna lather and wash your face normally with this every day and every morning and night and then second step is a clarifying lotion or astringent and uh, this is for combination oil skin so this is the right one and you're going to <coughs> you're going to use a cotton um, ball or cotton, cotton pad and um, you know clean your face with this that's the second step and I believe it has the steps here no it just says three I don't know but yeah it's the second step <laughs> And then you have the last one. This is excellent. This is an excellent product. Even if you don't want to purchase the others, you definitely have to purchase this. One, well, this one is 25 US and $77.62 in EC. And then the last step is the lotion. And it's dramatically different moisturizing gel. This is specifically for combination and oily skin. So this is going to be perfect for keeping your oil at bay making sure that your face is moisturized even though you do have oily skin it's important to moisturize your skin so um so this is the third step in um the process all right so i definitely recommend this it's you always want to get a product that's specifically for your skin type and this is the one that is my go-to it's a little pricier um maybe you can get drugstore option but this is what i use presently <laughs> so i've already already used this so i don't have to illustrate 
you know this this process to you second what I do and of course this is if I'm gonna put on makeup um, and this is an everyday process too I am going to use a primer a primer so I'm gonna these are at three different price points yes yeah, three different price points so first you have the Primal Stay Matte Mattifying um, Makeup Primer. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. Mattifying Primer. So this is how it looks. This gets awesome reviews. This is at the lower end. You can get it at almost any drugstore. This gets awesome reviews. It's very mattifying. And we worked excellent in New York. And this is kind of what I use every day. Yeah, the cheaper option. I believe this is about ten dollars, maybe a little less than ten dollars, maybe eight dollars or so. But this is an excellent one. This um, is what you put on before your makeup. It helps to keep your makeup um, fresh and keep your oily skin at bay, right? So that's that one. And then in the middle, you have the poor or benefit the poor professional matte rescue. So I use this for some time. There you go. I use this for some time um, in New York. I don't. I haven't used it so much here, honestly. But this is another option. I bought this at Sephora. I forget how much it is. I think it's kind of pricey, like fifteen dollars or something like that. Um, and I I used it. It's okay. It's not the best one, um, but this is also an option. And then the favorite is Becca. Right, so I bought this at Sephora in New York. Um, so it's the Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector Base Pores Invisible Ever Matte. I don't, I honestly haven't, I've been saving this to use for this video, so I haven't used it yet. This is the sample size, and I believe this was 15 or 20 dollars, I'm not sure. Um, and then they have the bigger up, the bigger size that's about 30 dollars. This is what all um, the YouTubers, the makeup YouTube, makeup artists, YouTubers um, recommend. Um, a lot of them love this product, so I'm going to try it here today. I'm going to take a little because, you know, I'm trying to save that product. Oh, it's not even coming. Oh, okay, there you go. Okay, so I'm going to use this much. You see? Yeah, I'm gonna use a little bit. It's like it's a little, it's not really like a like a firm or consistency that looks in. So it's important to make sure that you get all your hot areas, your T zone. A lot of us um oily girls are very oily on our nose, that's the first place to go. <laughs> your nose and your T zone. So your forehead up here and here, cheeks. I have to hit. I think I might need a little bit more. And I just use my hands for this. I'm not gonna use a lot of product because you don't want it to be. You don't wanna waste the product and you just wanna make sure you get a little in here and there. Just make sure your nose is covered. That's super important. That's the first place to go. All right, so it's already looking good. So next step is one that I, this is what, what has worked for me, okay? This is just what I do, All right? Next step, I use a powder. So this is what I'm gonna use. It's the mineral set it and don't fret it matte finishing powder so I know it's a, a lot of you are gonna be like there's a finishing powder you can put that afterwards I utilize it before and after <laughs> because this is going to help to keep you nice and matte it's gonna keep you nice and matte so that's what I do this is my um, this is my method okay so I use about this much first and I'll start with my nose 
I'm gonna look like a ghost at the end of this. Hold on, look at that. If I hit the main areas, the parts that I know, I'm going to be oiliest. The nose for sure, cheeks, necks. And then around here. Like this, it, honestly, I've been struggling with oily skin for so long. It's crazy. But I, I don't fret it as much using this routine. I'll probably use a little um, napkin or blotting sheet throughout the day. But like, once I do this routine, I don't have to. I don't have to bother about blotting very often. All right, so this is. How my face looks after using the set it and fret it and don't fret it matte finishing powder so i'll leave this on for a little bit i may go on to do my eyebrows or go and eat I'm talking about if this is a morning routine i leave it in for a little bit just let it set and then i continue okay so the next step is applying my foundation so so these are four of the different foundations that I use. Depending on where I'm going, how long I'm going to be out, I determine how much of a matte finish I need to so that um I have I remain matte for the extent of the event. So first I have and the different price zones as well. Um yeah, different price zones, but I'll I I'll indicate where you can get each of the products from. Okay. So starting with the lower price point I have here. Okay. Starting with the lowest price point I have here first. This product from L'Oreal. Hope you can see that. It is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte. And I have it in a cocoa color 112. So it's demi matte finish. So this is very good product. Very, very, very good product. It's at the lower end. You can get this at any drugstore. So Target, Walmart, CVS, Dwayne Reed, those kind of places. Um, and I believe it's under $10 too, or maybe 12 Yeah, so this is a great product. I use this. I use this a lot in New York. It's very good. The only thing I'll say, it rubs off very quickly. If you're gonna um, hug people, this is not what you want to wear. This is not what you want to wear. Your makeup will be on everyone's clothes. So that's a downfall with this one. But this is a good product. I used to use this a lot. I just don't right now. Second, we have this product. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, so that's the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Longwear Foundation Pro Filter. Right, so this is also a really good makeup that I used to use um, a lot. Um, the only thing, it's, it's not full coverage and I prefer a, a, a more heavier coverage than this provides. But this also helps you to stay matte. I believe it's pretty good for that. Um, it's not my favorite, but if you are interested in getting this, you can get it at Sephora. Well, they're the only place that I carry it. So Sephora, and everybody should know Fenty by now. I believe everybody has tried Fenty. So yeah, so there's that. It's matte. So you always want to make sure you have a matte foundation specifically for oily skin people. Um, you're going to choose a matte foundation, but all matte foundations are not the same and they don't have um, the same amount of coverage. So keep that in mind. Thirdly, we have this one. All right, so this is the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. So I do believe this is matte. Yeah, this is matte. This gives you a very good like finish, like very glowy finish, oddly enough. Um, and you do look like you're not filtered. <laughs> like, I don't know how to describe it, but you look really polished and made up, but in a natural way. So I recommend this one. I, I've been reaching for this mostly every day. Um, I use this probably the most mostly because it's cheap honestly i don't want like i'm a cheap girl uh, i mean i should do videos on being frugal tell me tell me in the comments below if you want me to um start doing videos about my cheap hacks or inexpensive hacks for i don't know beauty or, or anything food anything just let me know but um this is a color pop 
no filter foundation and this is about this is less than ten dollars i think it might be $12 or $15, I don't know, but it's cheap, it's very inexpensive. So there's this one, I like this product a lot. It's only available on their website, colourpop.com. Look them up um, and definitely get this foundation, it's awesome. And then probably the most popular foundation for oily skin people like myself would be this one. You see so this is the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place makeup and I have it in a color rich cocoa so I guess I'm cocoa colored skin but yeah I have it in rich cocoa and this is the best foundation for all these skin I'm not going even to lie I'm not going to lie it's you can get it at Macy's I believe some Sephora's have it for sure but department store so it's about forty dollars so it's on the higher end um um scale i mean it's not there's definitely more expensive foundations but this one is a department store um brand so you only get it there it's excellent i wore this when i went to my grandmother's funeral we were outside for so much of it during the like the burial part and i just noticed like i didn't feel greasy and it wasn't i wasn't really greasy i was sweating because it was like 100 degrees but I didn't feel greasy I didn't feel oily and if I just I dabbed a little bit to get rid of like you know sweatiness I would have been fine yeah I'm gonna use this I'm gonna illustrate this I'm just gonna use a little bit of it um, to illustrate how great you look after using this makeup Okay, so I'm back. So I'm finished putting on my foundation um, and I put on a little mascara. I don't know if it's perfect, but I am not a makeup artist. Disclaimer, I'm not a makeup artist. Just a regular girl. <laughs> Alright, so next I'm going to put on my blush and I use a powder blush. I've had this for so long, I couldn't even tell you. It's from MAC. I don't know if you can see that. It's from MAC. Yeah, I can't see. But it's from MAC and it's a powder foundation. I've been using this for so long. I love this blush. It's the only one I use. And it's a powdered blush. So it's ideal. Powder is going to be good for absorbing oils and that kind of thing. So you want to stick with a uh, powdered blush. And I love blush. I, if I'm putting on makeup, I'm putting on blush. And I don't really wear... Um, this is the things I put on too much blush, but I don't know. I don't put on um, like eyeliner and that kind of stuff, maybe because I'm not good at it, but I always wear blush. Okay. Yeah, just a little blush, just a little natural look. And then lastly from my look, um, I use a matte lipstick always a matte lipstick if you say you do end up being oily it's important that you're not like oily oily lips or not oily but greasy lips like with the natural um formula of lipstick the acrylic ones um some of them are like glossy yeah i never wear lip gloss that's just me i never wear lip gloss um but i will wear a uh, chapstick and I will wear a lipstick and it has to be a matte finish that's just my routine so here I'm gonna use um, Colourpop lipstick in the color creeper and this is an ultra matte color
this is a finishing powder the same powder that we used before I'm just gonna dust a little bit of it on my nose just a little you're never gonna see it Just a little bit on my nose. My nose is the first place to get oily. And on my chin and my forehead. Okay, I'm pretty sure I said that was the last step, but this is really the last step. I'm going to spray this product. It's the NYX Matte Finish. Um, long lasting setting spray. Hopefully, some of this left. Okay. Just gonna let this dry a little bit. So, this is my final look. As you can see, glowy not oily um, and the last step definitely will help to keep those oils in and help to preserve the quality of your makeup so you see I am NOT a professional here this is just what I do every day I don't do all the concealer the what's the other one the what well, the highlight I do highlight sometimes but I don't do that other thing with the darker color I don't do all of that because that's not practical for my day-to-day -day life I almost forgot <laughs> this product is super important this is a clean and clear oil absorbing sheets it's a portable one I'm pretty sure they probably a bigger packaging but this is the one I usually get it's about six dollars at your drugstore this is very important it's a blotting sheets right so throughout the day you might that and a girl knows an oily girl knows when she starts to feel a little oily like um she can take one you're gonna take one of these and just discreetly I do it at church I do it at work I do it wherever they might just think it's a piece of paper you use it and you just dab your nose it's always that's with the nose your nose and then right here these are usually the areas that I get oily and it's a t-zone but it's more like an eye zone for me <laughs> I right here right here and right here yes so those are the places I usually get a little oily so I just use it casually and just block your face very important and um, they also have most of the drugstores have like a store brand option for this they work just as well and it makes sure to preserve the quality of your makeup your makeup is not gonna smudge or anything or move around with this product maybe if you use a brush or a sponge or something it might move around but not with these so I highly recommend this product yes so that's the end of our video today I hope you enjoyed I hope you can utilize some of these products in your oily skin routine please leave a comment below if you um enjoyed this video or if you have any questions or um or you have any insight about what you use for your early skin routine finally i'll link the products for you in the description bar so look out for that and i hope you enjoyed it see you next time bye no matter what i'm doing i'm still gonna wait for you even if things don't come through just the way i want them to I'm